The painting in front of us was made by Pierre Auguste Renoir, a French painter who was born in 1841 and died in 1919. It is called Bruyard à Guernsey, or Fog on Guernsey, as we would call it in English. This piece was finished in 1883 using oil on canvas. It was given to the museum by the John J. Emery Endowment and the Edwin and Virginia Irwin Memorial in 2004. The painting is 21 inches tall and 25 and a half inches wide. The piece hangs in the Impressionist and Post-Impressionist Gallery 227. It's surrounded by other landscapes that show pastel colors, filtered light, and large brush strokes. The landscape in front of us shows a house on a hillside overlooking a body of water. The location is Guernsey, an island off the coast of Normandy in the English Channel. The house on the hillside is surrounded by lush trees made of deep greens, oranges, and browns. The trees are somewhat blurry, showing the Impressionist technique, but also amplifying the feeling of fog in the area. The whole piece gives the impression of a missed opportunity for a classically beautiful day, but now has the mysterious mist sh shielding the pure colors of the landscape. The foreground shows a house on a hill that is darker than the rest of the piece. The hill slopes down from the top left of the canvas to the bottom right. It ends in a small grassy area close to the viewer. The house is darker than white with red roofing and a chimney with a small curl of smoke coming out and dripping, drifting up to the left. In what appears to be the front yard of the house, there's a small patch of blue flowers that has had the surrounding foliage cleared away. The rest of the hill is covered with dark green trees and bushes that have a tinge of red and brown to them as if the seasons are changing from summer to fall. The background shows lightly covered hills with the water in between. The water is a sharp blue and has gray overtones on parts of the waves. The scene across the water is lighter in color and less distinguished than the foreground. We can tell that it is a landscape against a gray sky, but not much more than that. The colors of this landscape are similar to the scheme in the foreground, but are much lighter. The sky above the foggy background is gray and misty, full of splashes of light colors that make it appear as a soft gray. Imagine you have just stepped outside of this house. The humidity in the air hits you as you go through the doorway. The smell of dew and running water come to you as you overlook the English Channel. Across the water, you know there's a hillside that has houses, and rocks, and trees, but you can only see faint colors through the fog on this gray day. In the late summer months of 1883, Renoir enjoyed a brief sojourn in the British Isle of Guernsey, where he painted approximately 15 pictures of the area. During this paint period, Renoir devoted considerable time to this painting. Layered brushstrokes in the foreground give way to more fluid lines in the far back. In this manner, Renoir replicated the obscuring effects of morning fog. Thus, the artist reconciled the temporary and the permanent, the effervescence of the atmosphere and the solidity of the landscape. Renoir constantly sought to internalize and reinterpret the work of his Impressionist colleagues using his own techniques and palettes.